Hello, Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this unboxing, flip through, walk through, first impressions of the Seeds of Shakti Oracle. Oh my goodness, this deck has been on my wish list for so long, but it was out of print for quite a while. So I was really excited when um, I found out that the creator who is actually located in Canada, uh, Sharon Basanti was creating a, a reprinting or redoing this deck. And I believe she updated some artwork. I don't have the original, so I won't be doing a comparison, but I was able to pre-order it and I'm so excited to have this in my hands. And look, it came in this cute little um, muslin bag that's been stamped with the Seeds of Shakti Oracle, which is just lovely. But I, I'm really excited. I'm like really excited to get into this deck. Uh, it says on the back, with eyes closed, the truth is revealed. Oh, so pretty. I've been watching this thing uh, on Instagram kind of come to fruition for a long, long time and watching some of the artwork and some of the revisions. And I'm just so pleased to finally have this in my hand. It is so vibrant and beautiful. And well, you'll see when we get into it, but I will have a link down below where you can follow the creator. If it's still available to purchase in some way, I will definitely have a link to that. I think that it is at the time I'm filming this. So let's get into it. Nice sturdy two piece box with thumb cutouts. And this deck is, I believe a like bridge sized deck. So about the size of like a Lenormand. Um, well, let me grab a standard tarot and we'll just do a little comparison. So I have the dark mansion tarot here just for size comparison. So let's just pull one of these cards. There's a little uh, certificate of authenticity. I am number 123 of a thousand and a little guidebook. And is this the back of the deck? Oh no, this is just like a title card, Seeds of Shakti Oracle. So you can see, yeah, I would say this is like a little, it might be poker size. I always get poker size and bridge size mixed up, but that gives you an idea of the size of the deck. It's a really nice little, like nice little size. I'm so excited. We'll look at the guidebook um, afterward. Oh yeah, that's my title card again. Those are the fronts of the cards. So the interesting thing is that the backs of the cards are made up of these different halves. Now, I don't know the story of this. Somebody else probably does. But if you put them together, they make this gorgeous mandala and you get the light and the dark half of that mandala, which I think is really cool. So when you spread them out, you get some white cards and some dark cards. I don't know if those correspond to anything that's happening on the front, um, but they are gold gilded, but in a really beautiful matte matte gold. Let's see if I can increase the light in here a little bit. That's a little shadowy. There we go. That's probably a little better. So yeah, really, really beautiful. Super excited. And then it's that kind of gold that's not going to like, it doesn't feel, it's not shiny. It's not feeling like it's going to flake or whatever on me. So that's awesome. But look at the colors. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay. So we're going to put these like title cards back in the box and we'll dig into this little guidebook after. But for now, let's zoom in and look at the artwork. Ooh, look it. Okay, so I love this artwork. It's very vibrant. It's really colorful. Here we have Ajna with eyes closed. The truth is revealed. This is the third eye chakra. And that's on a white backing. And these look like they're probably um, Ajna. Yeah, these look like they are alphabetical. So then we have Anahata. This is the heart chakra. The heart is a mirror, allow love to be reflected. Now I love that it has not just the name of the chakra or the colors or the symbol, which is all amazing, but it has that little message as well. Banyan, life and death are illusions. Oh, it's so pretty. Buddha, without acknowledging the shadows, enlightenment is elusive. Camel, resilience flourishes in the, force, in the face of adversity. And that one is black. And it's interesting because it's black and it's black here. And it's talking about facing the shadow. I'm trying to decide if there's, um, if some of the shadowier cards have the black backings and some of the lighter cards have the white backings. If anybody knows, please feel free to chime in down below. Sensor, release to create sacred space. And that one is white. Chai, a sacred pause with kindred spirits. I love the colors. They just make me so happy. Cobra, kundalini rising, awaken the bliss. Cow, nourish the body with wholeness from the earth. Oof. Crystals, 
Healing is never linear. There are always ebbs and flows. I wonder how many cards this is. Does it say? I wonder if it says in the guidebook how many cards. I don't know and it's alphabetical, so I have no idea, but it seems like a decent amount. <laughs> I'm not gonna count them though, I'm not that keen. Dark Moon, Walk with the Ancestors, and that one is on a white back. So I don't know that it has a correlation. It's interesting though. Diwali, light shines out of darkness. Dream, visions are potent spiritual truths. Drum, dance to the beat of sacred rhythms. Earth Star, this is one of the um, additional chakras. Step into nature, connect with the elements. Eclipse, shatter the illusions by unearthing the truth. Oh, so potent. Fish, change is inevitable. Reinvent to adapt. Beautiful matte cardstock, by the way. Flower of life. Secrets of the universe lie within the patterns of life. Full moon. Cleanse to illuminate. Ganesha. Relinquish troubles into the hands of the divine. I love this card. Hamsa. Encircled in blessings of protection. Hanuman, unwavering devotion. Yes, so pretty. Kali, endings create space for rebirth. Lakshmi, cultivate prosperity through generosity. Lingam, duality intertwining. Lotus, out of the murky waters the soul rises and unfolds. Yes, I probably would have been really picky about this if it, if it, if it wasn't landing the way I wanted it to land. Mala, breathe deeply and chant to awaken the soul. Manipura, be fierce, instinctual, and strong-willed. This is our solar plexus chakra. Marigold, lean into rituals that honor the sacred. Monsoon, navigate the waves of the unknown. Yes. Muladhara, breathe in, anchor the soul. Muladhara is the root chakra. Namaste, bow to the place within where the entire universe dwells. God, that's so beautifully worded. And I think that's the thing. All these little sub, whoa, all these little sub messages are so beautifully worded. Look at my like fumble here. <laughs> Classic. Okay. New moon, birth what the heart desires. I love this like a beautiful um, peacock here. Om Shanti, calling forth cosmic peace. Peacock, unleash the magic. Pomegranate, seeds of prosperity are taking root. Pomegranate's a wonderful um, symbol for prosperity as well. Sahasrara, I always say that right, wrong, but um, the crown chakra, honor the divine wisdom within. Shakti, feel the fire burn within. Shell, express the soul's authentic vibration. I love this so much. Shiva, transcend the false self. Singing bowl, restore energetic flow with sacred sound. And there's the Om symbol there. The soul star, another chakra, the one way, like the one above the seven, just like the earth star is the one below the seven. Ascend to connect with the universal mind. Sri Yantra, gaze inward to harness the power of Shakti and Shiva. Star, break up with doubt, make the darn wish. <laughs> Love it. Sun, limitations are self-imposed, radiate as if there are none. Oh, Svadhisthana, the solar, or not the solar plexus, excuse me, the sacral chakra. Create a vessel for creativity, sensuality, and passion to bloom. Tiger, on the other side of fear is courage. Yes. Turtle, self-preservation is a balm for the heart. Universe, this is the Big Dipper. Every action has a reaction. And Vishuddha, the throat chakra. Speak with integrity, listen with kindness. Oh, that's not the last. Waning moon, purge unhealthy habits and patterns. Waxing moon, lean into what needs to blossom. Yogini, move in silence to seek the answers. And that is the last one. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, so I know I'm speeding through this, but like I just really want to get to a guidebook message and just see what happens. So let's give it a shuffle. It's so pretty. I have no complaints. Nice sturdy cardstock. Probably feels like a 330 GSM, which on this smaller card um, size really feels quite sturdy. You wouldn't want anything thicker than that or it'd be a little too stiff for shuffling, but it does shuffle nicely. Let's just pull a card. Cow. Nourish the body with wholeness from the earth. And is it alphabetical in the guidebook? Yes, it is. I don't think there's a whole lot in the beginning here. Let's just see. So it says, for my ancestors, there's an introduction. And then we get right into messages. I did think I saw some spreads. They must have been in the back. Yeah, here they are. So there's quite a few, actually. So there's find your inner Shakti, Muladhara Chakra, Svadhisthana Chakra, Manipura Chakra, so they're, they're, there's a spread for each chakra, which I think is freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. Love that. Um, that is perfect, and that's all we need. So let's see what it's... That's Cobra. Let's see what it says about cow. Are you filling your belly with whole foods that tr truly nourish your body? Could you use more fr fresh fruits and vegetables in your diet? Be brutally honest with yourself. Your soul is craving to be nourished with meals that are rich in fiber, vitamins, and minerals to help your body function optimally. Eating healthy takes effort and dedication. Carve out space to perhaps plan your meals for the week ahead and write out a grocery list. Let food be your medicine. Beautiful. So it's really exactly like what you see on the box, right? Like, so what you see on the card is the meaning of the card. And you can dive deeper if you want, but I'll tell you right now, I probably will end up using this deck without the guidebook. I think this would be another beautiful deck to work with alongside a yoga practice, but just in general, I feel like if you have a meditation practice or if you wanna use this deck for self-care, there's a lot of really beautiful stuff in here. I think this would be beautiful also for self-worth work and anything along those lines. Anything where I feel like you're reading for yourself, I think this would be really good. I don't know if it's one I'd reach for to read for clients. It just kinda of depends. I'm gonna to have to stretch its legs a bit and see what I think. So a little bit of clumping with the fan, but not too bad. That, my friends, is the Seeds of Shakti Oracle. I'm so happy to have it in my hands. I will definitely have a link down below where you can check it out yourself. Hopefully it is still available. I'm sure that it is, at least at the time of filming, I'm pretty sure it is. Thank you again so, so much for joining me. Please be sure and like this video. If you enjoyed it or you found value in it, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Click the little bell to be notified of my future videos. And thank you again so, so much for joining me. May your magic always shine from the inside out. Bye, guys.